climb out of that race car and will get checked out in the infield care center. Look how fast. As soon as that contact happens, he just hangs a left. You said it, Jeff. As soon as the car touches the grass, something about that gap or the air or something changes and up in the air it goes right away. That is so scary. Remember, these cars are traveling at over 190 miles an hour. We've seen barrel rolls, but when it climbs into the air, I mean, even right there, multiple flips. Ten. Every Ten time flips. it leaves the ground. All the dirt and everything that gets inside that car, it's just... Wow, how fast that car was sideways and in position to get airborne. Terrifying. This was common, though. I mean, years ago, 15, 20 years ago, these were the type of wrecks we expected to see in Daytona and Talladega. And NASCAR has changed a lot of things about these cars to try to keep them on the ground. And for the most part, unless the cars find themselves in these odd situations, it works. That right there looked exactly like what we would see in 1985, in 1990, 1995, the way this car went up in the air and barrel rolled down the back straightaway. Well, I know wife Heather is watching. Uh, they just welcomed Rebecca Marie to their family August 7th. As I mentioned, Ryan Priest climbed out of the car they put him on a stretcher, see him lying down. They'll go to the infield care center. He'll get checked out. We will keep you updated on Ryan Priest's situation. What a ride.